Hey guys, Uncle Dan here. Question raised today in the Discord. Is Michael Burry shorting the market right now? Yesterday we had a big order in the VIX. If you want to short the SPY, you would buy calls on the VIX. Let's go take a look at the VIX actual trades that were done and the possible profits that he is looking at when he does this trade. This is the VIX all the way back to the 80s. This is crazy, right? You can see the 87 crash when the SPY plunged, the VIX spiked up. And when that went up, it went to a high of 172.79 back in October of 87. And that was a crazy day. Then we've had a few spikes along the way here. The last quarter of 98 was another big one. Zoom in from 08, we can see we had a high of around 90. And then in February, March 2020, last year we got up 85. And you can see we've drifted all the way down. We've drifted all the way down primarily because when you look at the stock market, this is what the SPY has done. So is Burry looking at the high that we see here? Is he now thinking time to short this market? He's been predicting that we're gonna drop. And as you can see, we're at all time highs and that VIX is dropping, dropping, dropping down. Now here's the trade that a few of my guys in my Discord identified today. So here's the VIX. What we found is in July, someone did about 200,000 of the 25 calls and they did 200,000 of the 40 calls. So we think it's a 25-40 debit call spread in July, 102 days. All right. Now, if this whale has bought 25s and sold 40s, then he's suggesting right now you can see we're at 1669. He's betting that this price is going to be above 25 and closer to 40 by July. Now, what's his profit and loss? Let's go to the Analyze tab and take a look. Down here, I've already entered his order. What this shows you is that the maximum risk for his debit call spread is $40 million. And if the VIX goes all the way to 10 or to zero, or stays below 25, he cannot lose more than $40 million. Break even is at 27. And anything above 27 will be profit for him. See 40 down here? And then right here, that's his max profit. And his max profit is $260 million if VIX trades above 40 on expiry. So that's the trade that he's doing. And if this is Burry, then he's obviously betting that the market crashes between now and July. Did say that he believes the market's going to drop. And if he does think that, this is one of those types of strategies that would allow him to risk 40 million to make 260 million, right? So in this situation, he's looking at the possibility of making more than six times his money if VIX were to hit 40 on expiry in July. So this is the whale trade that came into July yesterday. Now, if you look here, you can see the volume today. What's important is to know what the open interest did from day to day. And yesterday, the open interest was only like 10,000. So you can see the open interest has shot up by 200,000 in both of these contracts. So the trade that was done the day before, which was Thursday, was validated on Friday when the open interest came out just before the open of the market. So we now know this was not churning. This was a real position that was put on. This is a long-term trade. And now we can monitor this open interest. As you can see, nothing else comes even close to it. This was a huge trade for the VIX. Let's keep an eye on this guy. And the question then is, what do you do with knowing that information? You may decide to follow him if you think he's right. That's the challenge is once you know what the whale is doing, now you have to think about, does he know something you don't? And how could you follow his trade or do something similar if you think he's onto something? All right, so that's the VIX and that's the trade that we think Mike Burry might have put on. So good luck.